Well, it's been almost four and a half years. It's hard to believe since we had the septic system put in here on the property in Tennessee. And uh, the other day it started backing up. Uh, when we drained the bathtub, some air bubbles came up out of the toilet. That was our first sign there was an issue. I uh, went out and checked the clean out uh, outside the building and it was full of, of water. And then I went out and checked the clean out by the septic tank and it was full of water as well. So the septic tank is backed up. Um, and we're gonna have a company come out and do a pump out on it. It's been, like I said, almost four and a half years. So uh, we'll see what's going on inside there. We are gonna, he has to dig it out because when they put it in, we didn't know what the grade, the level of grade was gonna be. And it's, it's very far underground right now. So they'll dig it out with a digger. And then uh, when he's done, he's gonna make a riser, a big pipe that brings the lid up to the surface. And the next time it needs to get pumped out, we don't have to have any digging or anything involved. We're getting ready to pull the lid up. <laughs> no, it must be a rock. I ain't that far down yet. Oh. Because there, there was like big metal rods on it or something, I think. Oh, there's a board under there. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'll grab it.
Holy cow. Indeed. Solid all the way to the top. That's... And I'm going to tell you another thing. It looks like to me the fill lines aren't working like they're supposed to. And the reason I say that is because this tank level, whenever you open one of these things up, you should always be able to see the pipe that goes into it. Because the pipe on the other end is where it goes out is two inches lower than this one. So that water should always be down below that pipe. Anytime you take the lid off of one and it's up above that pipe, means it's not flowing out the other side like it's supposed to. Hmm. So we'll get you pumped down. When we get it pumped down, you'll see the pipe I'm talking about, but it doesn't look like it's draining out like it's supposed to. So here's the thing, this does not stink at all. When he opened that lid, I thought for sure it was gonna stink really bad. There's no odor whatsoever coming out of that septic tank. Um, and there isn't gonna be any odor here until he starts blending it up. Man, when he starts adding liquid to it and getting it more liquefied in there and mixing it all up. Then there was some definite stink coming out of there. Um, but it's good it's not full of wipes or anything like that when RVs dump here all the time. I'm concerned about all the harsh chemicals that people have in their tanks when they dump in there and that's probably killing off our bacteria and stuff that we need to have. But it did last four and a half years. Let's hope there's not an issue with it draining because the liquid level's not up that high. This other stuff's kind of floating, this harder stuff. Um, I don't know if it's all the, the oils that we wash off our hands and everything like that and with the soaps and stuff. Uh, I'm not really sure. I don't want to make that determination that it is bad, but we'll, we're going to keep an eye on it and see what happens. Stuff we've been adding is that good to be doing that or it's not working but it, <laughs> it, it wouldn't work it wouldn't look like that that stuff you're adding is supposed to eat all that up but if it doesn't get started from the start it doesn't work like if this was mine i would wait about a week let it get some water back in it and then i would put a bunch of i'd put like two bottles of that stuff in there that way it gets started from the get-go and then the bacteria is supposed to do it on its own you're not even supposed to have to add anything. Once you get it started, it's supposed to just be a natural process. But with all the harsh chemicals and stuff we use now, it doesn't work like it used to. That's why you've got to pump them out every few years. It's pretty much so immune to it, but I'm telling you right now, this is the part where you're glad you're watching it on TV instead of standing here, because there's definitely some stinkage coming out of there. So this riser pipe will have the lid sitting directly on top of it. So the lid will be at ground level. Oh man, I'm getting too old getting out of these holes.
Okay, so it's all buried back up there. And now that we have the riser on there, the lid's at the top here, so we don't have to dig the next time it needs to be emptied out. So that'll be nice. The septic tank sits at an angle here. I thought it went straight with the building. There was no reference here when we put this in. So I was off a little bit. So we nearly parked this bus on it, uh, which that would just be the tag. So there's not a lot of weight on that. And this one's before the septic tank. So I don't think the tag actually would probably hurt it, but it was close. Well, this tank is uh, 1,500 gallons, so it's pretty large. Uh, we're just going to see how it goes. If it starts to back up again, you know, if, if it lasts six months and there's a problem, if we get years out of it again, then everything should be good. So uh, it's not worth digging anything up to investigate it. We'll just keep an eye on it here. Um, but it's a pretty large tank, and with people dumping the RVs into it and stuff, you know, we, we never know how it's going to do. But we've always used, since day one, we put Ridex in there. Um, we did that for the first couple years, and then we changed to something called Green Gobbler, um, and we been using that for like the last two years in there but religiously every month we add this this treatment stuff to it but clearly it's not working either the chemicals we have in there are killing it off or or what but we're gonna we're gonna keep putting it in there to, to begin with here just to get it started and then kind of go from there 